Hello everyone, uh, this is the uh, second video on the Arnova 10G2 and it's regarding the uh, connectivity on the um, on my um, Windows 7 Windows Media Player basically any shared drive on my machine I want to have the uh, capability of streaming uh, the videos or music whatever it is directly onto my Arnova um, I thought this was going to be a complicated thing to do, but it was quite easy in the end. Um, on various forums, it talked about um, having to uh, install the SIFS uh, uh, module, which I, which I did. Um, uh, let me see if I can just uh, launch that off uh, on the on over now. Uh, I have to say that I didn't have any luck with this. Uh, every time I tried to add the new share, I kept getting problems, and I was never able to actually get it to connect and to give me the green dot as you can see on some of the other guys um, videos on uh, on YouTube so I gave up doing that because I found a much easier way of doing it um, so basically uh, it's um, using a, a little piece of software uh, which is a little program called ES File Explorer which I'm sure you all know and it's got a really nice um, interfa interface if I just go to local at the top there and go to LAN uh, I can see I can do a search uh, over there for all the um, uh, the shared uh, servers uh, uh, on, on my network uh, with my wireless connection on and this is the one that um, I'm interested in uh, I did have quite a few problems in getting it to connect uh, telling me that it was wrong uh, username or whatever uh, guest uh, wasn't enough in the end I just put my um, uh, login credentials from Windows 7 and I was able to log in without any problems whatsoever so what you do is you just highlight that keep pressing it edit the server and then put your own username and passwords to get in okay uh, once you've done that if uh, you click on your web server uh, IP address um, it will load all the shared files and folders on your Windows uh, server incidentally this works uh, even better and quicker on Linux uh, I've, uh, I've dual booted my machine with Linux 11 and it was with Linux I actually found out that my IP address was 192.168.110 because before I had doubts whether it was uh, indeed that uh, or not okay uh, this is the error message that you you'll get sometimes and uh, let me try again and as you can see this time it's let me in you know I was getting that error message quite a lot um, but I persisted with it and eventually you know I just got in like I just have now um, as you just saw there. Okay, these are the shared uh, folders and files uh, on my Windows machine. And if I got my setup here, <coughs> this is the thinness um, uh, rooted uh, instructions that I did. Great uh, write up there on how to do it. Very happy that I've done that. Anyway, these are the shared, uh, a couple of the shared ones that shared folders, directories. If I just go into the more films one. You see, I've got Adam Sandler films, uh, animation. Um, you know, let's go to Adam Sandler. See, so you've got lo loads of uh, movies there. Obviously, I've got copies of uh, DVDs of all of these, obviously. And uh, if I go now here and click on more films, go into Adam Sandler. And uh, if I just pick one at. Uh, my choice. I just got to just go with it. <clears throat> One of the latest ones that I watched of uh, Adam Sandler. What a funny actor! Uh, just go with it. So I just click on that, and it tells me which uh, application I want to use to view the video with. And I click on the next video player, and it starts to stream. It's pretty quick. Um, usually, I don't know how many seconds it's taken, but it's, it's carrying on from where I'd left off before. 27 seconds. Uh, the actual Arnova is currently on the on the lowest luminosity. The sound, the quality is perfect. Uh, just as good as my USB stick. Just as good as the SD card. No difference whatsoever. I've just got access now to all my movies and film, uh, films, films, uh, uh, TV series, whatever. Uh, they're all on my drive uh, somewhere shared. Uh, let's stop that now. There is uh, another application that I use to favour. Uh, to this that does exactly the same thing and that is this little application here called File Expert really nice app just go to the network section there Windows Samba Sharing and you can see you've got the two uh, the, the two SMB 
uh, servers that it finds. I know it's this one. I've actually gone into the details, put my Windows login credentials, and it's allowed me in. And as you can see, it will open up the directory, show me what's available for me to watch. Okay, that should be showing up any second. I mean, it's um, it's not that important at this stage as uh, you saw it working with uh, ES File Explorer. But if we just give it a few more seconds here, so you cannot access this folder this time. You, you'll get that sometimes. Just persevere with it, and and it will actually let you in. I'll try. I'll try once more and go in. See, see, now it's gone in straight away. So don't get discouraged if you get the error messages saying that you've done something wrong. Just keep persevering, and uh, you should be able to get in as long as you've got the IP address correct. As I say, I managed to find out my IP address. Um, successfully uh, using Linux uh, using um, uh, a Samba share. Uh, unfortunately um, when I was doing it through Windows it was giving me the IP address as 192.168.1.3 and I was just, I kept on getting these, uh, if I just go on there, I kept getting these two folders which were driving me crazy um, but that's all been sorted. Uh, at least now I can you know stream any movie that I want in the house with the kids or the missus and uh, don't have to worry about putting it onto USB sticks and, uh, and having that awkward pen drive hanging out from the side of the machine. Um, if I also show you on my uh, HTC Desire phone, uh, I've done exactly the same thing. With an application on there, which is fine, so it's not very good quality zoom there. It's exactly the same sort of layout. If I go into network, Windows Samba sharing, search existing ones, I'll just cancel that. Nah, nah, I should have, I should have let it carry on a little bit more. It's exactly the same. You get to stream all your movies on your phone. I won't do it now because it's pointless. Uh, I'm not talking about the desire at the moment. Um, the screen just gone off. Well, that's about it, really. Uh, I hope it's helped you guys. Um, uh, since um, I've had this on over, I've been really happy with it. The the battery is great. Um, really can't complain. Um, so it's flaw, fl flawless, really. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. Take care.